Hi everyone, today we are going to see a problem related to grade 4. Um, the problem is, Karen had twice the amount of money with Linda. After Karen spent $150, Linda had twice the amount of money left with Karen. How much money did Karen have at first? So in this case, we are going to take the first statement, Karen had twice the amount of money with Linda. So this is the relationship that is shown here between the amount of money with Karen and Linda. And as we see here, Linda is being referenced. So Linda is our reference. So we draw a model for Linda first. Let the amount of money with Linda be one unit as shown here. Now, in relation to Linda, Karen had two times, twice or two times the amount of money with Linda. So, if Linda had one unit, Karen would have two times that, which is two units here. All right. At this point of time, we are considering this one box as one unit. So, here you have two units and two boxes. After Karen spent $150, Linda had twice the amount of money left with Karen. So Karen is spending some money, which is $150. And what happens is after that, whatever Linda had became twice of what was left with Karen. So if we divide Linda into two equal parts, what Karen had left was equal to one of it. So we can see here to these diagrams. Now from this we can see that this is one uh, unit, right? Because now Linda has two units and Karen has only one unit, which also means this will also be, sp can be split into two different units. That is what uh, is represented here. So we can see that one, two, three, three units is equal to 150. And one unit is 150 divided by 3, which is 50. So one unit is 50. And the question is, Karen, how much money did Karen have at first? So Karen had in total all of this, which is 1, 2, 3, 4 units. So Karen had 4 units, which is 4 times 50. And that is equal to $200. So that is how we solve this problem. Hope this was uh, clear. Now let's look at how to solve the same problem using algebra. Karen had twice the amount of money with Linda. After Karen spent $150, Linda had twice the amount of money left with Karen. How much money did Karen have at first? So first, Karen had twice the amount of money left with money with Linda. So Linda is our reference here. So let's assume money with Linda be X dollars. Then Karen had two times, right? So we will write it as two times X or two X. That is the money with Karen. So after Karen spent $150, now we are going to see the amount of money left with Linda and the amount of money left with Karen. For Linda, if you look at it, she, uh, she has the same amount of money because she did not spend any money. But for Karen, see, she spent $150. Now, the relationship of the money that is left behind is given here. Linda had twice the amount of money left with Karen, meaning whatever money Linda had, it is two times the amount of money with Karen. So if we are to actually equate them by an equal symbol, it means this side should be times 2. So only then this side would be equal to the right hand side would be equal to the left hand side. So money with Linda did not change, so it is x. Whereas money with Karen is 2x minus 150 because she has already spent $150. So the remaining money is 2x minus 150 and for this equation we have to make it as times 2. And to when we multiply because there is a brackets here 
that's for a reason because it's two times of the entire uh, quantity that is here so if you want to expand this first two times 2x and then two times minus 150 so that would be equal to two times two is four four times x minus two times 150 is 300 so this uh, we, we are just going to bring this 300 to this side and x to this side minus 300 when it crosses over the equality sign it will become plus 300 here x is positive when it crosses over here it becomes negative so minus x so 300 is equal to 4x minus x becomes 3x right we will uh, rewrite it as 3x is equal to 300 so x is equal to 300 divided by 3 which is 100 so x is 100 and we know money with Linda is x which is 100 but the question is about how much money did Karen have at first so money with Karen was equal to 2 times x 2x or 2 times x we know x is 100 so money with Karen is 2 times 100 which is $200 hope this was clear uh, I have some uh, practice questions also listed uh, I would give the link below in the description you can try these type of questions there and if you have any doubts please uh, comment give me uh, comments in the comment section and I will try to respond to you as soon as possible thank you for watching have a great day and as always share this with your friends subscribe to my channel like the video if you find it interesting or useful have a great day bye